Hi, it's Alaska Granny. When you're camping or using your sleeping bag and you're going out on the trail, you may want to use a compression sack or stuff it down into the littlest stuff sack that you can find. But when you get home, you don't want to compress your sleeping bag. You want to make a big stuff sack to allow the loft in your lining to stay fluffed up so it doesn't get compressed and then it won't keep you warm when you want to use it. So I'm going to show you some simple ways you can make a stuff sack out of things you have laying around the house. Take two old pillowcases that you have around the house. Everybody has some old yellowed stained or mismatched ones. Turn them both inside out and cut them apart on the seam. Cut all the way down the side and then cut them open across the bottom. Cut them both that way. Now lay them so the two right sides, or sometimes people call that the pretty side, together and then pin them all the way around. Leave, but you're going to leave the top where the actual what used to be the opening will still be open and it's already hemmed all around it. So you put your pins in it all the way around and then we're going to just simply stitch it together. Now you want to take it to your sewing machine and remember the part that was the opening on the pillowcase before is still the opening on your bag. So you want to start up at that corner. You want to drop your presser foot and you want to stitch a little bit forward and a little bit back to lock your stitches and then you just want to guide it through. Take your pins out when you sew. Never sew over your pins because you'll break your needle. And just go all the way around the three sides. Remember, it doesn't have to be perfect. You're just going to stick your sleeping bag in it. So go all the way down one side, across the bottom, and up the other side. Simple as that. If you want to put a drawstring in it, there's already a casing all the way around. And this is what you do. Go back uh, crossways and stitch back and forth about an inch above and below where you might want your string. on both sides. Now I simply took two old shoelaces that are uh, like three feet long and I'm going to tie a knot and tie them together. Now I'm going to go to my openings and I'm going to thread one in the pocket of the first side and go all the way across what would be like old pillowcase number one and you just thread it all the way through to the other side and then you take uh, shoelace number two and put it in the little pocket of pillowcase two and shove it all along until you get to the other side of that one. When you get them both through to the other end, tie them in a knot on this end. And there you go. You have a drawstring for your bag. Now whether you want to hang it in an out of the way closet or toss it in the back of a cabinet, your sleeping bag has room to breathe, your insulation won't get compressed, and it's keeping the bag clean. Your sleeping bag is an expensive investment, so take care of it so it'll last as long as you would like it to. Please let me know what you think about my stuff sack, and if you'd like to continue to receive tips and tricks from Alaska Granny, please subscribe to the Alaska Granny channel, and have a wonderful day.